Hello everyone, welcome to this video from Simply Learn, where we are diving into Behance, the go-to platform for creatives to showcase their work, connect with other designers and get discovered by clients or employers. So if you didn't know, Behance is like a visual playground where artists, photographers, graphic designers and even filmmakers share stunning portfolios that will blow your mind. With millions of users worldwide, it's a hub for inspiration and networking. Packed with features like project organization, community feedback, and the ability to embed media right into your projects. So in this video, I'll walk you through how to create a killer Behance portfolio, explore some top-notch examples, and share tips to make your profile stand out. So whether you're a beginner or looking to level up, stick around and let's get started quickly. Before that, if you are interested in a career in UI UX, join our immersive UI UX certification program and become an expert in just five months. The course offers live online classes led by renowned faculty from IIIT Bangalore. Get hands-on with capstone projects, craft your portfolio on Dribble, and receive personalized coaching on top designer tools. And the best part? Simply Learn's job assistance is here to support your journey every step of the way. Enroll now and unlock endless possibilities in the realm of UI UX design. The course link is in the description box and pinned comments. So let's get started. So this is a website of Behance. Uh, so basically, this is a platform that serves a wide range of creative professionals. So if you are a UI UX designer, you likely want to showcase a variety of projects that highlight your design process, technical skills, and creativity. So this platform allows you to create projects that cover different aspects of design and user experience. So for example, if you go to filter, and if you check out the creative field, you know you have fields for UI UX design where you can show off web and mobile app designs, user flows, wireframes, prototypes, user research and case studies. And then you have a column for, you know, graphic designers over here. So where you can showcase your post logos, posters, brochures, along with the creative process behind these designs. Also, you have options for illustration. You can also find portfolio examples for web design, video creators, photographers, etc. So as you can see, as you browse through Behance homepage, you will see a mix of portfolios from these different creative fields. So Behance algorithm personalizes your feed based on your interests, showing you relevant projects that align with your creative field. So whether that's UI UX design or any other creative discipline. So to start with Behance, you have to first sign up. So as you can see, you can do this either through Google, Apple or Facebook credentials. So here I'm signing up through Google. So firstly, they will ask whether you are a freelancer, or a creative or a hiring because you know basically even hiring happens through Behance. So you can select one of these whether you're a hired or you know whether you're a freelancer. So right now, like we are going to make a portfolio, right? So we are the creative or the freelancer. So we'll select this. And once you have signed up, as you can see, Behance will ask you to customize your feed by selecting the types of projects that you're most interested in. You know, as you can see, it can be graphic design, photography, UI, UX illustration. So as of now, we'll just go with UI UX and uh, you know you can select that makes sense to you or is close to your job role. And let's just select product design also. And let's see the custom feed. So as you can see, this helps Behance recommend content that matches your creative interests and skills. Let's just close this for now. And let's just go to our Behance profile. Yeah. So as you can see, your Behance profile serves as your digital portfolio and it's crucial to make it visually appealing and informative. So as you can see, the first step is to upload a profile picture. Okay, so if you're a company, like if you're a company, you can upload your, you know, logo, your company's logo. But if you're a freelancer or an independent UI UX designer, for example, you might want to use an image that is minimalist, clear and approachable. So here also some designers opt for a clean professional headshot while others choose to showcase a logo or avatar representing their personal brand. So right now we'll just upload a profile pic. So let's go to edit profile info. Here we can go and upload the profile picture. You can resize it. Let's crop and save. As you can see, your profile picture is ready. Now after that, you have to fill in your details, your first name, last name, your occupation, other company you are working for, 
So all these are not mandatory fields. If you want, you can give these informations. So it's better to give all your information so the people who wants to hire you gets a complete picture of you. You can also give your location. And if you have a website URL, you can even provide that. Now here you have the teams option. So here you can actually you know, create or join a team, which means you can collaborate. And again, here you can connect your Twitter account, your LinkedIn handle, your Instagram handle. And here you can give your usernames. Like if you have a Facebook account, uh, which portrays your works, you can give your Facebook name where, where you just have to, you know, add your username. You can give your YouTube handle. Now, after setting up the basics, now it's time to optimize your profile so that it stands out to potential clients and collaborators. And then here comes the About Me section. So the About Me section is very important because this is where you will get to tell your story. So for example, if you're a UI UX designer, it's important to mention your design philosophy. For example, user-centric design, like the tools you specialize in, like Figma, Sketch, or Adobe XD, and the types of projects you typically work on, and also the experience and background of yours. So for example, you can write a description like this, like I'm Sneha, a passionate UI UX designer with a background in visual design. I specialize in creating intuitive, user-centered designs for mobile apps and websites. My goal is to design digital experiences that delight users while meeting business objectives. The tools I use include Figma, Adobe XD, and Sketch. So as you can see in the single paragraph, you have covered whatever that I have mentioned earlier. Now once you have given your description, now you can add your work experience, the links, and the URL, etc. So all this information will be auto-saved. Now let's just go back to profile. So as you can see, as you continue to set up your profile, you will get an edit availability over here. So this basically lets your hierarch know that, you know, when will you be available and everything. So here you can give whether you are looking for a full-time job or freelance projects. And also you can give when you will be available. You also have categories and you can just tick the, you know, the services that you offer. So it can be logo design or anything. Also, you can set your price range and done. So once your availability is updated, you know, you will get to choose your payment option because we, so as you saw earlier, we had set a payment range, right? So they will ask you the payment options. You can select those. Now, the next step is to add a banner. So your banner image should be a representation of your design aesthetic or a piece of your work. So as a UI UX designer, for example, you could use a standout project screenshot, a portfolio highlight, or an abstract design that reflects your style. So the banner is one of the first things people see when they visit your profile, as it's bigger than the profile picture, of course. So make sure it's high quality and eye-catching. And also, once you upload, you can just, you know, drag and uh, yeah, reposition your banner and just press done. So now that your profile is set up, it's time to start uploading your projects. So Behance allows you to create detailed project pages that showcase your work in various formats. But before that, one of the first things you'll want to do is talk about the services you offer, right? So here you can go to services. You can press create a service and you can give add examples from Behance. So once you do the project, you can add examples from Behance. For example, you'll be having some projects in Behance and you can just you know, attach here. You can give the basic info and you can give the description of the service that you offer. You can provide the delivery time, the categories, etc. Also, here also you can set the price. So this is how you create a service. So basically, the service helps people understand what you do and whether you are the right fit for their needs. Now, as you can see, Behance integrates with Adobe Stock, allowing you to upload and sell your work through the platform. So if you're a photographer or a visual artist, this is an excellent opportunity to monetize your creations by licensing them to potential buyers. Now we also have live streams over here. So for those looking to engage with the audience, Behance also provides the option to live stream your design process. So whether you are doing a live illustration session, a Photoshop tutorial, or a design review, this interactive feature allows you to connect with followers and potential clients in real time. Additionally, you have also got mood boards in your project. So mood boards are helpful for showcasing your creative direction or the initial stages of a design process. So they often consist of images, colors, and design elements that represent the visual tone you are aiming for in a project. So for now, let's get back to creating the project. Now, again, before we start, first, I will just walk you through a good portfolio from Behance so that you will get a clear picture. 
So this is one good portfolio that I came across in Behance. So this is a UI UX designer portfolio by Sharon. So as you can see, the portfolio opens with a brief yet impactful introduction presenting how she is a seasoned UI UX designer with a keen eye for detail and a passion for creating user-centered visual solutions. So this sets the tone for the entire presentation, emphasizing her professional ethics and design-driven mindset. So after that, she has given her education qualification where she studied from. And this is also a very, you know, cool idea. She has actually given a QR code where if you scan, you can actually see her CV. So even you can use all these, you know, creative ideas in your portfolio. And after that, she has mentioned the skills, like whatever skills she have as a researcher, like for example, UX research, competitor analysis, user flow, wireframe, mockups, and also she has highlighted the tools, and also she has highlighted the tools that she's proficient in. And after that comes the project selection that she has done. So the portfolio includes a curated selection of her best work, demonstrating versatility across industries and platforms. So each project is accompanied by detailed case studies that explains what the project is about. Also, she has given a brief description of her hobbies and then a thank you note. So this is how you create a portfolio. So let's get back. So you just have to press create a project. So this will open an editor where you can upload your content, whether it be an image, text, photo grid. You can even upload video and audio. You can embed videos and you know, photos from other sites. So let's just see one by one. So for example, first you can, as you saw in the previous example, first you can just speak about who you are, you know, or give a description of what your job role is, etc. So for that, you have the text option over here. So maybe first you can just talk about yourself. And then you have an option where you can, you know, upload images. You can upload multiple images. So once you uploaded the images to your project, you can fine tune how they appear. So Behance allows you to upload multiple images as you saw and reorder them as needed. So if you go to the edit option, you know, you can reorder the project, you can add a caption, you can replace the image, you can also delete an image. So for example, if you want to reorder, you just have to press here and you just have to swap the order like this. Just a second. Yep. So this is how you reorder and you can save the new order. So first, you, uh, what you can do is, you know, you can just dump your images and then you can arrange your work in a logical flow. Now, as you can see, there is an attach assets option over here. So you can also attach additional assets, uh, like it can be PDFs, external links, or even code snippets if you are working on tech projects. So this is especially helpful for developers who want to show off their work along with their technical details. Now, you also have a photo grid option over here. So if you want multiple photos, what you can do is, you can just select everything at a time and open together so that you get a grid. So this is perfect if you want to show multiple designs or different stages of a project without overwhelming the viewer. Now, as you can see, Behance, now this is a very good feature. Behance also allows you to embed videos and interactive elements into your projects. Uh, so for example, if you press here, you just have to paste the embed code. So I'll just give you an example. So for example, if I want to show this video in my profile, I'm just taking this uh, video for example. So when you go to the share button, you can actually, you know, get a code for Ember. You can copy this code, go to the project and paste it over here. Press Ember. Yes. So as you can see, your video is here on the profile and you can play it as well. So this is how you can play around and make your portfolio. As I told, it is always better to refer to some good works before creating your own so that you can get inspirations from those. But make sure that you don't co just copy someone's work. Just take inspiration from them and you must have your own creativity. Also in the text option, make sure that first you give your introduction and again, you know, you make sure that you talk about the tools and software that you have used. So once you have made your portfolio, the next step is to publish and share. So as you go down, you can just view a preview over here of how your portfolio will look like. And also don't forget to give your contact information and everything below the footer. So once your preview is done, you can continue. And here again, you have to give a project cover photo. 
I've just taken a random cover image. And here you have to give your project title, the project tags, and the tools used. Also, you, you have to give how would you categorize this project. So for example, if I've done a workflow portfolio on UI UX, you can actually select the UI UX field. You can give the visibility option. And once everything is done, you can just publish your work. So that's it guys. I hope this video helped you understand how to create an awesome portfolio on Behance. It's such a great platform to share your work, get inspired and connect with others. So if you found this helpful, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Staying ahead in your career requires continuous learning and upskilling. Whether you're a student aiming to learn today's top skills or a working professional looking to advance your career, we've got you covered. Explore our impressive catalog of certification programs in cutting edge domains, including data science, cloud computing, cybersecurity, AI, machine learning, or digital marketing. Designed in collaboration with leading universities and top corporations, and delivered by industry experts. Choose any of our programs and set yourself on the path to career success. Click the link in the description to know more. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.